War without rules. Russian military forgot about all military standards and used prohibited weapons against Ukraine. The day before, a hypersonic missile Kinjal was used against one of the shopping malls in Kiev. Moreover, the occupants dropped phosphorus bombs on Kramatorsk. This information was released by the first deputy head of the Kiev Patrol Police, Oleksiy Belushitsky. He reminded Russia had previously used phosphorus bombs in Popasna. Sarah Donetsk, Lysychansk, Rubizhna, Popasna and Kremina remain under constant shelling. The cities have been hit hard by Russian aviation, but our servicemen continue to hold the enemy back. The occupiers in Kherson threw flashbang grenades at pro-Ukrainian protesters on the Svoboda Square and fired at them. Several people were injured. Also, Russian military does not miss the opportunity to grab other people's walls. They robbed another grocery supermarket. Occupiers also keep on attacking the city of Mykolaiv. A hotel was destroyed by a missile attack. Rescuers are currently cleaning up the debris. Military terms, we are moving. We are in the process of getting and helping the army, the rear. We are setting up logistics for the live enterprises. We are making lists, we are setting up a pass regime. Getting ready for the planting season, we are putting guards on the enterprises, we return to peaceful life whether possible. <coughs> the Rivne region was shelled again. The enemy army fired four missiles. Only one reached it. The enemy continues to rage. During the 7th air alert today, four missile strikes from the air were detected in the area. Three of the missiles were handled by our armed forces. The force, possible damage and casualties are specified. Combat also continues around Borispol in the Kyiv region. The head of the city urges residents to leave the city temporarily. The fewer people in the city, the easier it will be for the Ukrainian armed forces to repel attacks from the Russian army. The less civilians remain in the city, the easier is the work of the armed forces. As the practice of those cities where battles are now underway shows, there is no critical need to stay in the city right now. The fighting is going on around the city. I appeal to the civilians, be reasonable. Contact the call center and, if possible, leave the city. Russian troops had burned down a stable in Hostomel. A few of horses that lived there may have survived by joining a neighboring herd, but most were burned alive. However, Ukrainian servicemen drew the Russians out of the village of Moshun in the Kiev region. Kadyrov and Russian paratroopers had previously been there.